things, and like I said, one thing can go into another. If you had me in that position, what's the first thing that popped in your head? Maybe a knee, maybe a take down to a stump to take it too far. You know? I mean, anything, <laughs> anything can go into another thing. Um, our cameraman here has uh, worked out with us numerous times, and he's, yeah, he's picked up a couple of things, and, uh, and uh, I believe someone, yeah, like used it too far. He asked us if we've used this in like, uh, you know, real situations, mm -hmm. and we've had. Um, I mean, we have marks to prove it. I mean, yes. <laughs> uh, the idea is that we practice it. We don't go out to look for altercation or anything like that. However, that there is a laboratory out there. You have to oh. test these things eventually, and there's always that one person or that group mm -hmm. that kind of tries to, uh, I don't know, uh, test your metal, so to speak. Mm -hmm. So you have to build effective techniques that, not like I said, that doesn't just work for one thing, but work for all things. Mm -hmm. The one thing must go for a thousand as a thousand must go for that one thing. Mm -hmm. So you train it as if you were taking on a thousand adversaries. Mm -hmm. I pray you don't ever take on a thousand <laughs> adversaries. But should that need arise, you, you would be able to defend yourself uh, efficiently, hopefully. Um, that's why boxing, as you notice, we all do boxing to some degree. It may not be our core system like it is for him, but boxing is very fundamental when it comes to uh, self-defense because it, it encompasses a great stance. Uh, it teaches you how to keep your hands up. I, um, and, of course, uh, you have the basic uh, techniques as far as the jab, the cross, the hook, and the uppercut. And then all we do is we supplement that with something else. Like um, looking at him, tall guy, he's got long legs. Taekwondo's perfect for him. <laughs> it, it, he's like he's got like everything built for him specifically. He's got boxing for his hands. He's got taekwondo for the legs. And of course, uh, as you saw with these two, he can grapple as well. So he's good in the three uh, main ranges of combat, which is mid range, long range, and ground range. Uh, close range or grappling range, uh, you sir. Uh, that's when we're up close. And if you were, if you throw any kind of punch over here, and I'm here, or if he threw another punch and I go here and I go up here, the idea is that this deflects, this guides, deflection and guiding. So we got the parry, and I come up here, or I bring it down here and go here. This is close range combat. That's the martial art that I practice and that he studies as well. Um, I'm kind of done talking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>